All right, we are going to do work some work on the DocuCam. So I am seeing how this is going to work for my video friends. But let's do, let's start. The girls can pick up when they get back. So we have a what? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Mike says Rita's got to get used to this. That's the White House. What's that? Is that the White House? Yes, that is the White House. better if I have it right next to it. It's going to be experimentation here, friends. So 10 plus, what is that? What is 10 plus 20? Why don't you get your whiteboards out and you can work on whether or not I can see here is going to be something else. What do you need to add? The dollar sign, correct? So make sure with your answers, you have the dollar sign. Now we're going to get tricky. I wonder if it would work better if I had some of the lights on. This is all experimentation, friends. dollar bill. So I added, what did I add? Alright, so now to that I'm going to add, what is that? Quarter. So how much do I have all together? Now make sure you write it correctly. Hoping that this, sorry virtual friends, I'm just trying to get you Correct? So we have four pennies. 
So if, if you're correct on the dollars, what is the coinage? Grant. 29 cents. Very good. All right, let's try it again. All right. Make out what those are? What are they? 20 and 50. 20 and 50, correct. Can you see that? Yeah. What is it? A five dollar bill. And what is that? A one dollar bill. There's a quarter. A quarter and a dime and a penny. Just put the put your down for now. I don't even know if you guys can see this. Yeah, you can, kind of. Not the, not the box. Sorry, friends. All right, somebody tell me the answer that you got. Uh, when Sheen. Mm, how many cents? 61. I thought you said 51. That is correct. All right, good job. One more, and then I'm afraid my virtual kids are not getting a great, this would be better if we could do a Zoomer. All right, let's do one more. We're gonna use, we're gonna bring out the Bing Boys. The Big Boys. Shopping with one day. So I'm trying not to cover up. All right, so I have two, two, two one hundreds, a fifty and a one, and four quarters. Tricky. You have to pay attention to the coinage. Pay attention to the coinage. Oh, and what is your answer? That, that is correct. Because four quarters make a what? A dollar. Very good. All right. Nice job. I found. I finally found some real size money on Amazon. If it were only real, that would make it even more exciting. But sadly it is not, but it works well. Better than the small, teeny, tiny, minuscule ones that I had found before. All right, so everyone have your books out. We need to turn to... We need to turn to lesson 38. Lesson 38. Let me get, I have to take.
take care of all of my money. <laughs> so much money, friends. All right. Now, let me get... Blinding light off. All right. All right. This goes up. There we go. And I'm going to bring my friends. Hello, friends. Going to bring you closer. So you're not so far away. Okay. Now, we are going to work on some of these here in class and the rest you're going to do for homework. So lesson 38, you are going to turn to page 75, correct? You got a bell yeah. on there? Yeah. Okay. So, got a little circular thing on top. Let me get, yes. So, what you are going to do, what number, 1A, what number do you have in the middle of the circle? Jonathan. Uh, four. Four. So, we have a little four times in the middle. So, let's go. We have four times four. So, look at the four. What is four times four? What is four times four, Christian? 16. Yes, so what you're going to do is you're going to write 16 on the outer part of the circle. So you're going to basically go all the way around the circle, four times five, four times three, four times seven, four times nine. What is four times five? Jonathan. 20. 20. So you're going to write 20 on the large, uh, I don't know what it's called, size, what that shape would be, but you write that next to the 5. 4 times 3. What is that? M. 12. 4 times 7. Machine. 28. 4 times 9. Write down, please. What is four times nine? I need more hands up. Helen, four times nine. Correct. Four times 11. Grayson. 44. 44. Four times eight. Olivia. Four times eight. Christian. 24. Nope. Four times eight. Winsheen, 32, four times six. Ella. Um, okay. mm -hmm. So now you have a completed circle. So circle B. That is what, when you circle something, that is homework. All right, so we have 1B. Let's move down. You're going to have to have a ruler. Who has a ruler? Please get them out. You may start measuring A, B, and C. And I might have a ruler. I see a ruler back there. If you do not have a ruler, I really need you to get one.
Yeah, no wonder my patch is wrong. It's like Desiree died. All right, has everybody got measurements done? What is measurement 2A? Grayson. Four and a half. Very good. Four and a half. What is B? Gabe. Two inches. Two inches. What is C? Christian. Five and a half. Very good. Five and a half. Good job. All right, we're going to do some rounding. If it is five and above, what do we do? Five and above. What do we do? Luke? Round it up. Round it up. Very good. And then if it's below five, do we round down? No. no. What do we do? Jonathan? It stays, stays the same. Stays the same. Very good. So 56, what does that turn into? Say 50 or is it rounded up? Jeff? It's, it goes up to 60. Why? Because it's right, um, it's five or above. Very good. What is the five or the six? Five. But six. Very good. So that turns into 60. Very good. 99. Gabe? Up to 100. Rounds up to 100. Why? Very good. What about Owen? To 90, correct. Why? What is the eight or the five? Very good. All right, what about M. Why? Very good. Stays 70. Good job. All right. Now, we are going to, I should have, we are, you guys, I glad you knew that I didn't have to tell you, but now we're rounding to hundreds. So we're rounding in the hundredth position. So what is in the hundredth position in for 270? M. Two. two. All right, so if we are rounding in the hundredth, what, is it, what happens to 270? Olivia. It stays at 200. No. Christian. It rounds up to 300. Why is that? Because the 70 is. The yeah, set. we're looking at the 7. So rounding in the 200th, we go move over to the next number in the 10th position. The 10th position is telling us whether we round up or stay the same. So in this case, you are correct, Christian. We round up because seven is above five, correct? How about what number is in the 100th position, first and foremost? Owen. The six. Co correct. So does it stay 600 or does it round up? Winchine. It does. Why? Correct. So it does not change the six. All right. You may work on the rest right now. B and, or, yeah, so 410 and 800. Or 900, 890. This is reading to a reading glasses. Boy, you need to work on your stuff. 
work on this. We're doing this together. Okay. All right. Thumbs up if you're finished. What's that? No, we're working on the rest on number four. So you're working on 410 and 890. You need to round those to the 100s. Okay. Yeah, so we're not moving any farther than that. Thumbs up if you're done. All right. Who wants to come up here and do this problem? Bring your marker and bring up and come and do it. Grayson. We're obviously doing what? Multiplying, adding, or dividing? Divide. Right, sorry, I got that too high for you, bud. <laughs> so now you need to go down and do long division. Do you remember what you have to do? What's the next step? The first step is division. Multiplication, and then what do we do? I forgot. Okay, that's fine. We haven't done it in a while. Um, who would like to finish? Luke. So we've done the first step, which is division, and then we multiply. What do we do next, Luke? No, we don't. We already did that. So now what is the next step? If we're doing a long, remember the long division, what do we do next? we got to do something here. Yep, there you go. Nope. <laughs> I'll just go down all the numbers. So we're, we're going to subtract what? From what? Yes. We're going to subtract six. Got to do a little subtraction. There you go. There you go. And that equals what? Zero. Yep. So you the do the line will cross go over line. There you go. And zero. zero. Perfect. Yes, Jonathan. Uh, can you do the signs on like number one? Yes. So one is what? What is the first sign that we do when we do division? We do what? We divide. just say it. Divide. divide. Then we do. Multiply. Then we. Subtract. Then we. Compare. There you go. Good job. So C for compare. So you can write those on one, two, three, four next to the division problem. Good job. So in the box, draw a picture to illustrate the division fact. So it is 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3. So how many, so you're drawing something, it can be whatever you want. It could be flowers, it could be snowflakes, it could be symbols, whatever you want. How many do you have to have in total? 6. Correct. I wanted to see what yours. So you guys have a box. So what I would do to help you see this, so we have to have six in total, correct? Yeah. So here's our box. It's not going to be perfect. So this is what I would do to help you visualize it. I would draw a line straight over. So if we have six in total and the division problem is six divided by three, how many symbols, drawings, whatever you want to do is going to be on each level? Here's one, here's two. So how many do you need? How many do you need up here if you're doing six divided by three? Six divided by three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have.
have two. So if it were, does that make sense before we move on? No. 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 All right. Let's do So, we had 4 divided by 2. We have two, two sections. How many in total? How many symbols or how many, whatever you're going to use in the box, how many in total are you going to have? M. Four, good. So we're gonna have four in total. So if we have 4 divided by 2, how many are going to go, how many items are going to go up here and how many are going to go up down here? Jonathan. Two? Yes. So we have 4 in total divided by 2. 2 divided by 4. That makes sense? What is two, four divided by two? Christian, four divided by two. Two? Yes. So there's two sections. And there's four in total. So division, you have to think when you say four divided by two, you're dividing them in two sections. That makes sense? Yes. <laughs> Jeff? You can't divide two. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm like, hey, it's nice. Oh. Um, what if. What is six divided by three? Jonathan. Two. Two. All right, so this is going to be a little different. So we have our box. So how many in total are we going to have? How many items or little symbols or little whatever you're going to use are going are you going to have in total? Owen. Six. six. All right, so why did I add three spaces instead of two M? Actually, you know what, Em, why don't you come and finish that? What do you, what, how are you going to draw that? Beautiful. Good job. Bravo. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we have three sections with two X's. Put your thumb up, you get it. Okay. This is just another way to visualize division. Okay, so division is... Oh, what's that? Somebody said something. So that is an, one, another way to visualize how a division problem works. All right, let's move on. Good job. All right. So this 
you can do right now because it requires you to color it in. The little graphy do. First and foremost, you have to do different equations. So you call, say the color the sum green for A. Color the difference in orange. So you're going to, and B is going to be orange. What is um, the time on E? Down on E, 6E. What time is that? What time is that? When Sheen, close. Owen, correct. You have to really look at the hand. You see it's not quite on the one. So what you can do for the remaining time is work on this. You are going to color in, Follow the directions and find the hidden numbers in the picture below. So, it, yes, Jonathan. So, do you color in the numbers? Is that the answer above? Yes. Because it tells you which answer, what color you do in each answer. Yes. What's that? I don't have any colors to share with you. I can't share colors anyway, so... You'll have to do it at home. It says basketball was invented in Springfield, Massachusetts, where the first game was played on December 21st, 1891. A little, a little info. It looks like they used baskets and a very strange looking ball. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a, a little ball. sports trivia for all of you. Um, yes, Grayson. Um, can we just color in the numbers, whatever um, color you use? Well, it gives you specific colors for your answers. So this is green, oh, this is orange, and this is red. Is it a color? Yeah, but this is simple, right? Can I just open it up All right, I am going to turn this.